Hi guys, this is Varun Wanka. I'm a first year cardiology fellow. I'm Remy Kirk. I'm one of the second year cardiology fellows. Hi, my name is Carlos Requena. I'm one of the second year fellows. Hi, I'm Sudhir Mungi, Program Director of Cardiovascular Fellowship at University of Illinois College of Medicine in Peoria. The Cardiovascular Fellowship in Peoria has, uh, in fact, completed 10th year of its existence. In the first year of fellowship, we do like four months of teaching service. And uh, on a, a regular teaching service is like where you have residents, as well as an attending cardiologist with whom you'll work with. Peoria is a destination place for healthcare in um, you know, central Illinois region. Uh, we are a level one trauma center and we draw a patient population of almost 1.2 million people. We have a lot of sister hospitals that actually life flight patients in, which means that we have a helicopter system. So if we have any emergencies, like people who are having STEMIs, like active heart attacks, people um, in cardiogenic shock, and they need higher level of support, we are getting all those patients transferred in for higher level of care. So our, our fellows really get a full breadth knowledge of cardiology during their three years. Needless to say, a very robust cardiac imaging program. We're trying to do multiple things to keep uh, this a close-knit family which can enjoy and thrive together and learn from each other. Because we realize, we do realize that uh, in teaching we learn and in learning they teach us. Most of the time you are responsive for seeing the patients early in the morning and then get ready for your rounds. And you'll start your day at like around 7 a.m. where you pick up uh, patients from night team and then you'll round on pre-round on your patients from 7 to 8 and then 8 to 9 we have like a morning report uh, I think it's one of the best uh, where you have um, attending physicians as well as the fellow from overnight who will be present in crisis and we'll all have like a collegial discussion about what's the best thing that can be done to the patient 9 to 11 is like the rounding time where you have uh, residents as well as um, myself and the attending, rounding on each patient. While we are rounding on each patient, we'll discuss the plan and simultaneously teach the residents at the same time. After rounds, we usually sit down with residents uh, to do some teaching, and then we have our noon conferences where we go over various topics, and these conferences happen on a daily basis. After 12, you take new consults, and uh, the regular day will end like around 5 p.m. Other than being a program that boasts 100% success in board results, I think what we really are very proud of is that our fellows are in every part of the country now really thriving with their practices, uh, whether it be in academics or private setting or hospital settings. One of the best uh, parts of this program is you can do what your heart desires in a way. Like if you know what you're going into, like me for example, I want to do interventional, I was able to schedule my rotations in a way that I was able to get the appropriate number of cath labs I need um, to acquire that skill set. It's like a very friendly environment and very collegial and we help out each other. Like for example, this year in December I had a newborn, my wife was pregnant and I need to take a break for four weeks and at that time all my fellows pitched in and they covered for me at night times for night calls. Uh, a very talented uh, group of cardiology faculty from all prestigious places around the country have come together uh, to train our uh, fellows. The faculty is wonderful. Um, they are there for you all the time whenever you have any questions. Uh, most of them are really knowledgeable. They have a lot of experience. Uh, OSF being such a busy hospital they pretty much have seen it all. Your faculty understands um, what you need, what you are looking for, and they help um, structure that rotation um, in that way. They are really hands-on and then they will give you a lot of um, freedom when it comes to dealing with tests, echoes, or cats, and they will let you do stuff on your own. And after that, they will go you know, over the cases and explain what needs to be done, how you did, how you performed, how you can improve. With our jump um, simulation center, we're able to um, learn certain skill sets. Uh, this is where I actually learned how to do TEEs before I went into an actual human, so that was very helpful. We do like um, 
simulation for code blues which are helpful for the residents um, where the residents will take care of the code blue on a simulator and the attending will give their opinion on how to improve their skills. And with the jump simulation center we actually have a mannequin with all the circuitry and all the tubing that goes into an ECMO system and we get the chance to learn that through our experts in that field. That opportunity is not um uh, I'm not sure, I, I don't know how many places have it, but this is unique and then we, we take the most advantage of it and I think it makes us better on our day, you know, daily practice and training. There are almost 17 to 20 nearby hospitals that drain uh, their complex patient pathology to us. So whether it's a complex interventional uh, problem, structural problem, electrophysiology, or advanced heart failure patients who, who are needing LVAD or cardiac transplant. You will see pretty much everything that is on the books in every specialty from cardiology, uh, be on the imaging side, on the intervention side, on congenital, anything. You will see everything. Sometimes it's over overwhelming because you see such complex cases and, and you need time to sit down and kind of, you know, learn the most from them. With me going into interventional, my faculty has given me plenty of opportunities to do interventions firsthand, which is, as a side note, another bonus because we don't have an interventional fellow. You're the ones going in, getting your hands dirty, getting in getting to put in stents, getting to put in mechanical circulatory devices, which other programs um, the fellows don't get to do until they're in their advanced year. We are that destination hospital where patients from different regions and different uh, level of complexities are able to get a very um, formidable heart team to discuss and take care of them. So life in Peoria, it is, it is a small town, but I think it's very family friendly, very pet friendly. Peoria is like a Sm small town with, uh, with it's, it's a small town with a very good family environment. It's been wonderful. We, we didn't know much about Peoria before coming in. Um, uh, my son is five years old and, and he is going to school here and, and, and the experience has, has been really good. Um, it's very friendly for, towards people who like the outdoors and you know going out into the nature. There's lots of parks where you can go hiking, lots of bike trails. What I like about Peoria is the, all the opportunities that it offers to young families and, and little ones. What I really like is I'm Indian. Um, I love Indian food and you know I make Indian food at home so for even though it's a smaller town, I actually have like three different Indian grocery stores that I can go to. I have multiple Indian restaurants that I can go to. I think for the, the ones who have family, you wouldn't find a, um, a better place than Peoria. 